It's been such a, a pleasure to be with you here to share our music with you this morning as we honor Kelly Kaui Keoli here on his Laha Nau. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask you to kindly please rise as we uh, sing and play Hawaii's anthem, Hawaii Pono'i. to the Royal Hawaiian Band, Bandmaster Clark Bright. Um, audience, you can please be seated. For those of you on the fringes, we still have some empty seats. Please feel free to join. And to welcome us this morning, we have Nakeki o Kapuna Naleo o Manoa, which is a Hawaiian language immersion school just from the valley up behind us. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. 
Mahalo ena keiki, ahui ho. Aloha nui kako. On behalf of the Mayor of the City in Kaltea Ponolulu, the Honorable Rick Blanjardi, it's my pleasure to welcome you all here today to Admiral Thomas Square Park to celebrate the birth of the longest reigning monarch in the Kingdom of Hawaii, Kaui Keauli, better known as Kamehameha III. First, our big mahalo out to Punana Lea for coming out here to help us open. Also to the city's very own Royal Hawaiian Band, who are very quietly trying to pack up because as the busiest band, I think, in, in the state, they're headed to the St. Paddy's Day Parade. So please, you don't have to be shy. You can pack up and, and head to your next gig, but we thank you so much for being here. Yes, let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to start just by recognizing some special guests present in our audience today. First, the mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, the Honorable Rick Blanjardi. Chair of the Honolulu City Council, Tommy Waters. Vice Chair, Esther Kiaaina. Council Member Val Okimoto. Council Member Tyler Dos Santos Tam. The Deputy Managing Director of the City and County of Honolulu, Krishna Jayaram. The Mayor's Chief of Staff, Sam Moku. From the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Trustee Brickwood Galuteria. We also have present with us many directors and deputies from the Mayor's Cabinet. We would also like to extend a, extend a special welcome to members of all of our Royal Societies, community partners, and supporters. We're here today to honor Kaui Keoli. He was instrumental in creating a strong, independent Hawaiian kingdom. After a series of foreign incursions in the 1840s, Kaui Keoli successfully secured Hawaii sovereignty through, strate through strategic partnerships with both England and France. Not only did he create a path forward politically and diplomatically, he established services and infrastructure that have lasted until today. It was during this period, after the conclusion of the infamous Paulette Affair, that Kaui Keoli would utter the words that became our state motto. Or, the sovereignty of our land is secured in perpetuity. At this time, I would like to invite the Mayor's Chief of Staff, Sam Moku, to offer welcome remarks. Mr. Moku? I'm sorry, this is the Mayor of the City and County yeah, of Honolulu. Okay. Don't run away. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Since I, um, I had a conflict this morning, and it looked like I, w I really wanted to be here. And Sam graciously, as my beloved chief of staff, said he wanted to speak, and I don't want to usurp that. So I didn't want you to think it was strange that I was sitting here. I'm just glad to be here. They're the best band in the city play, and, and just be in the moment with all of you out of respect. So Sam's going to take it away. Thank you. <laughs> Mahalo, Mayor. You're so gracious. I'm going to read exactly what was written. <laughs> to our distinguished guests, visitors, community members, aloha kako. On behalf of our mayor, our wonderful mayor, it is my pleasure to welcome everyone to Admiral Thomas Square today. We are here today to recognize the immense impact Kamehameha III had on Hawaii'ne as we know it today. He led the Hawaiian kingdom through it, what, what, what proved to be a period of immense transition for our people. Today, we take a moment to honor his contribution to Hawaii, to the Hawaiian people, and to those who call this place home. 
for his vision, his leadership, and his tremendous resolve in the face of adversity. We celebrate Kamehameha the third. Mahalo for joining us today. Thank you, Mayor, for letting me speak today, and aloha. Thank you so much, Mr. Moku. Next, we're gonna invite Bandmaster Clark Bright to the microphone to say a few words about the importance of Kaui Keoli to the Royal Hawaiian Band. Aloha mai kako, aloha. In what has proven to be a very significant and cultural decision, Kaui Keoli in 1836 formed the group of musicians to play on occasions, chiefly parades and funerals. They were called the King's Band. In 1872, with Henry Berger as the bandmaster, the band gained prominence and solidified itself as an influential music component in the Hawaiian culture. He found himself, as he said, surrounded by hauntingly beautiful music. He never met a Hawaiian who couldn't sing and was determined to preserve as much of it as he could. He realized that to keep Hawaiian music alive, he needed to keep the band alive as well. From the King's Band, to the Royal Hawaiian Military Band, to the Provisional Government Band, to the Hawaiian Band, to the Hawaiian National Band, to the Territorial Band, and finally, in 1905, as a civic entity, the Royal Hawaiian Band, Hawaii's music has been preserved, developed, cultured, and shared with literally millions of people across the world. I shudder to think of what may not have happened to our music, our culture, and our band had King Kamehameha III not had the leadership an understanding of the importance of creating the Royal Hawaiian Band. It is a linkage that pulls into the here and now, the colorful times of yesteryear. It is the stirring, harmonious, and ethereal voice of the people of another time living again, just as the sounds and spirit of this band should live into perpetuity. Thanks to the late Sir William Souza and with the support of President Tony Lee and the Friends of the Royal Hawaiian Band, they donated the embroidery of the Royal Seal of King Kamehameha III on all our sashes. To understand the importance of our present, we must never forget the past. In our recent history, the band has averaged 350 concerts a year. These musicians, are playing for celebrations, functions, and events all over the island at various times of the year, many of them on weekends and holidays. They are the ones giving up their valuable time with their families to be the preserving voice of Hawaiian music. Thank you one more time to the members of the Royal Hawaiian Band. They're getting ready for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'll be there soon. We take very seriously our role to provide healing, comfort, joy, and celebration to the many cultures as we all bring back remembrance to who we are as a people of this amazing city. As we remember our past, we can't forget how grateful we are for the amazing musicians and band called the Royal Hawaiian Band. Ladies and gentlemen, mahalo for allowing us to show our appreciation for Kaui Keauli and one of the only remaining living links to the monarchy, your Royal Hawaiian Band. Mahalo. Mahalo, Bandmaster. And to offer our final remarks, I'd like to invite from the Honolulu Fire Department, Chief Kalani Hao. Aloha and good morning. It is my honor and privilege to represent the men and women of the Honolulu Fire Department as we pay tribute to our founder, King Kamehameha III, Kaui Keau Oli. On January 11, 1951, King Kamehameha III established the Honolulu Fire Department. Today we continue his legacy as we progress and hold unto the values of our royal founding father. As a young king, 
Kamehameha III, remained steadfast to the values instilled in him by his kupuna, and he did what he believed was right and pono for the people of his kingdom. He was a champion for liberty, progress, and education, and invested in his people to make them genuine stakeholders in the affairs of their nation. Despite the many challenges he faced, his responses and actions were executed for the welfare and preservation of his people. The Honolulu Fire Department members strive to apply his values to everything they do, including this administration's commitment to the development, safety, and well-being of our workforce to ensure we are trained, educated, and prepared to properly serve the city and county of Honolulu with pride, service, and dedication. By doing so, we can continue this rich legacy for generations to come. Hauoli Lahanao, a.k.a. Ali. Happy birthday to the King. We honor and commemorate you on this special day. Aloha. Mahalo Chief Hao for your remarks. At this time, we're gonna commence with the formal lay draping ceremony. Um, Mahalo to Uluwa'i Learning Center and for our Kahu Kia'i who will be here to uh, receive lay along with the honor guard from the Honolulu Fire Department. Mahalo. First up, we would like to invite the Royal Order of Kamehameha to present their lay.
Next, on behalf of the City and County of Honolulu, Mayor Rick Blanjardi, Chief of Staff Sam Moku, and Deputy Managing Director, Krishna Jayaram. Mark Nemo.
The Honolulu Fire Department will now present their lay, followed by the firefighter's prayer recited in Olala, Hawaii by Fire Captain Jason Mejia. Firefighters on cover. The whole Malu Pako, the Kiakua, the whole Una Yao Kahana, the Kahi Ena Ikea, the whole Maya Uikamana, the Kahopa Kelea Uikeola, I Hikia Ukelo Akiki Kawa Pona, I Hoku Ike Kupuna, my Kaveli of Papo Ino, the Makaala Aua, Hoolo Hea Uikaleo Ikilo. Ai holo kahana o ke kina yahi, ake no wau e hoko o i kuukuleana, a e malama pono i kuuvahi poa kanaka, a i ka wai wai ona. A i nga hala au i ka make, wahi a kou make a make, nau no e ke a kua, e ho mai ka i kuuvahi o hana aloha. Amene. Firefighters, re-cover. File from the left, forward, march. Next, we have a joint presentation by the Honolulu City Council and representatives from the Kamehameha Schools.
Mahalo. Next, on behalf of the Department of Facility Maintenance, Director Don Sevchak, Deputy Director Warren Mamizuka, also. We have the Director of Environmental Services Department, Roger Babcock, and the Deputy Director of the, De of the Department of Transportation Services, John Nouchi. Next, we have a presentation on behalf of the, the Department of Parks and Recreation. We have Director Laura Thielen, along with members from the Culture and Arts staff. Next, we have a presentation by the Honolulu Police Department, led by Deputy Chief Keith Horikawa. Mahalo. Next, we have all the way from Kapolei, Hawaii, the Haumana of Uluwa'i Learning Center.
Mahalo. And next we have from our neighbors right across the way, members from the Honolulu Museum of Art. Mahalo. If there is anyone from the public who has brought a ho'okupu who would like to present, please come forward at this time. I see in front of me the Director of the Department of Community Services, Mr. Anton Krucki. This time, if we can just have enough room on the side, we're going to allow the Kiai and the Honolulu Honor Guard to retire. Mahalo everyone for being here. This concludes the formal ceremony. The monument is now available for photos um, and thank you so much for being here. Mahalo.